Welcome everybody, I'm Alexander Linz, Head of Content of WatchAdvisor.com, the largest search engine for wristwatches and official retailers on the net. And I have a, the big pleasure to present you or to talk to this afternoon to Mark Hayek, who is a board member of Swatch Group, CEO of the luxury brands. And uh, yeah, Bellinos came on top of it. And Bellinos uh, on so top of the batteries. And yeah, uh, yeah, so a little bit. And Mr. Esslinger, who is now the new CEO of Brügge. We will talk to Thierry Esslinger also. Welcome to our little afternoon uh, talk. Uh, yeah, let's name it talk. Great. Easy talking. Mark, uh, we had seen some up and downs here in the industry, especially in the luxury industry. And for no reasons the business went down the economy was still good now it's going up can you explain a little bit why these things go so up and down and <laughs> why it's so confusing yeah, it is i think uh, it's hard to explain you know you, for me in 2016 sure you had certain situations or countries where it was understandable but um there was there was nervosity and and blocking uh, mm -hmm. that was beyond what was logic and the same thing with the, the pickup but i think that's probably also a result of it you know you're waiting you know somehow you know u.s very destabilized all the people and where is it going mm -hmm. the world a bit mm -hmm. it, and you wait you have money but it's like mm -mm. and you know it got way more stable in 2017 or we got more used to it mm -hmm. uh, the situations there are and uh, somehow that that starts really to to stop this block and uh, i think maybe that's also an, an the explanation that uh, the acceleration is uh, in the moment very strong that uh, it was a bit held back, you know, money was there, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, it's maybe it's, it's an extra. Literally extra, exploded, beginning yeah. of the year, everybody's saying, okay, business now is really cool, it's going, people yes. buying. Yes, so you, absolutely, you, yeah. absolutely. I've it's touching all the brands? It's touching all the brands, uh, uh, my three brands, uh, overall in the group is good, but I uh, have to say, like always, the luxury uh, brands are a bit heavier touched when it mm -hmm. goes down, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, when the pickup is, uh, the increase is bigger. So uh, yes, we have a, a very, very good large double-digit increase on all three of them uh, brands um, at the uh, beginning of the year, the first mm -hmm. three years. Also last year, all three growing. From Blanc, it was even we were I think six or five pieces short of the biggest year ever, and uh, we have large double-digit growth to that result for the first three months. So. I think it will be a, a largely record year and uh, Berg is also performing well and Shocker is really picking up mm -hmm. good result last uh, year and uh, uh, beginning of this year um, even uh, beating uh, beating Bob in, in gross uh, percentage. So be sure to have your plannings correctly at the end of the uh -huh. year you're not uh you have not underestimated what you could have sold. <laughs> we I have to admit that uh, the budget uh, they were ambitious but um, uh, we are the first three months way above, so production is getting uh, the big challenge this year. Yeah. Um, since you are the CEO of and, and responsible for the luxury brands, um, let us start with Bruegge. So also introduce uh, Thierry Esslinger, who will it be the, your, new, your new CEO at, at, uh, at, at uh, Bruegge. Absolutely. What, yeah. will, what will be the role of Mr. Esslinger? Uh, it was really that uh, uh, I was looking for somebody because, uh, especially with Bellinus coming on top, uh, it got too much and I couldn't uh, do right for my job because you need presence on the operational side, daily business. So I'm uh, uh, staying active with Bruegge on, on the strategy, on the product. Uh, we are daily very close contact. Uh, but really being invalid issue and, and taking care of the operational side. And uh, Mr. Esling, somebody we work together uh, now with the family already for yes. a long just, time. Just two words <laughs> about your background, Mr. Esslinger. Yeah, I have been working at IAC Engineering for oh, two, oh. yes to, for tw 23 years, uh, you can imagine. I, I know a little bit uh, Swatch Group. If you started with high engineering, then you are one of the really, sorry if I say grandfathers in the group, <laughs> because this was really the very beginning when you, with your grandfather. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And also with Bragi active with my grandfather already, yeah, the whole yeah. project for uh, uh, Louvre. Uh, Louvre, uh, Versailles. Uh, mm. Okay. Uh, sponsoring projects. You know. Yeah, so inside. Yeah, yeah, Lesena okay. projects, uh, um, to be exact. <laughs> Let's talk about Bragi first. Um, you have been redoing uh, uh, this year uh, the, the Marine Collection. There's a new Marine Collection coming. Tell me a little bit about what's happening at Bragi. Yeah, but it's. Uh, it's a big piece and it's still not really 100% finished. You know, there's a, like always, there's a price of pause, so there's still a lot of details to, to, to correct. But the idea is to uh, 
uh, really renovate the collection and uh, to give it uh, an, uh, a bit more modern, a bit uh, younger touch uh, without losing the typical uh, mm -hmm. Bruggy uh, uh, DNA parts, uh, the candle the dial, the quality, um, the gold dials. But we go out, we have a, a version without uh, Gearshit dial. It's mm -hmm. a gold dial, but different finish to, to open a bit uh, the possibility for uh, creativity as well. Because that's what Abraham Louis Berge was at the time. He was not saying, oh, it has always been like this, I have to do the same thing. And if you look at watch before him and after him, he changed it. He changed also the aesthetics. And uh, I think that's that's one of the parts that is also influencing uh, this new line, that we open this, uh, these barriers that are uh, mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. without losing the DNA. Mm -hmm. And in terms of technologies, is there something new <laughs> you, you're <laughs> taking out of a box? Is always something <laughs> special that you're working on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're working on that. Uh, but it's not yet anything uh, of this in the marine. But that's, that will be also the collection where I w think we will see the most uh, of, the, of the innovations, like what we're doing with the, with the whole theme of uh, magnets and so on. For me, that's, that should be the play field. Uh, in this collection, because uh, that's where you have the, the split on, on tradition and uh, modernity, and yeah. where also with the Chronometre uh, de Marine, with yeah. with a whole background, the history, it's that's where the precision was asked for. That's where high technology was yeah, asked yeah, for yeah. the most. So uh, that will be the playground. Uh, we don't have anything in a watch this year, but uh, we have but a project in the pipeline, of uh, the regulation uh, of uh, something big here, starting work. But it will need another two, three years to be. Uh, ready for uh, for a watch. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to go in and say th you can do one that works for 10 minutes or whatever. But that's not the idea. It has okay. to be okay. solid. But that's that's going on uh, and continuing full power. And let me uh, be curious. We talked last year in our little interview about the Type 20. Type 20 is another icon of Brugge. Yes. I think this will be you will be working hardly on this now. Yes, uh, Type 20 is <coughs> coming back. I think in a new way or will this look different or will it be still the same watch? Uh, different to what uh, Type 20 looks today, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, much closer to what Type 20 looked uh, 60 years ago. Uh, because I think we should uh, go back from the look with all the modern technology, but going back to the, uh, to the, the aesthetics, to the beauty of uh, uh, the, the pieces from uh, the 50s to 60s. And uh, we work on it also, you know, we were searching and looking to find some uh, um, all the Lemania movements from that mm. time back, so uh, I have still some stuff uh, in stock and um, oh, 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 oh. preparing as well. Collectors, you know, collectors, be aware little, there is uh, something series, interesting coming, uh, okay? So there's exciting things coming in, in Death So you have 20. found new old stock? Yes, and uh, there will be a, a little series uh, next year, 19 or 20. Uh, uh, Mr. We'll Esslinger see. will have to put them together. Uh, mm -hmm. Limited series, limited Absolutely. series. And yeah, no, true. Yeah. Uh, but one is yeah, already yeah, gone. Series, I want one. Yes. <laughs> Not only limited series. No? Ah, okay. Well, so, so you have found so many uh, Le Manic, uh, no, no, but no, this will be limited series. Okay. But uh, then the, the new collection, not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I thought I would, maybe, I would maybe, like if it would maybe not be limited. <laughs> maybe we found some <laughs> more. But up to now, I don't know. Yeah, you open a huge, I don't know, a cage, uh, a huge uh, hidden place where you have thousands of movements and you can open. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, no. We're talking about fifty. Uh, okay, roughly. really. Okay, good, good, great. Um, Quickly about Blancpain. Uh, Blancpain is uh, very much now uh, a brand that is on the 50 Fathoms. The 50 Fathoms is the icon, is a most iconic piece. Also the patty, patty scarf. Uh, mm. um, you have, before we started the interview, you, you, you told me some numbers. Can you just repeat yeah. them? It, it's, I, I couldn't believe <laughs> it's, it's really. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it really worked it's because rocketing. it was 5-6% uh, of the overall sales about 6-7 years ago. Yeah. And today we are above 30% of sales is 50 Fathom family. So it's really, it really, really picked up uh, additional to the to the very the classic, but uh, it really gave another very strong part uh, mm -hmm. of the business. And that's also why we see uh, now smaller complications coming in the body scarf, you know, widening a little bit mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the range, always staying diving watches, but um, opening it a little bit more. Do you think it's due to the fact that you have been really playing also on the vintage pieces? I think this helped a lot. Yeah. The community yeah. uh, all of a sudden got 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 more aware of the of the, of the iconic product, and it's the same you're going to do with Brugge of the Type 20. If you play in these vintage mm -hmm. pieces, the community will get crazy. I think it's it's really the same idea. Very yeah. good experience with Blanc and that's why we can Brugge to say let's like, take the experience. And it's not a copying. It's you know you no, have no, the history, no, the, the but the you take an there. approach that works. Yeah. So uh, you, you you have to try it as well. 
uh, with Bragi because I think it's it's just the right way to go. Uh, I also understand the people that they like it. Yeah. Yeah, people are crazy about these vintage pieces. Yeah. The more, the more, the more close they are to the original, the better it is. And if okay. they are done in the, in a modern way, so they are reliable and so on, then yes. it's perfect. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it will be sapphire glass and not. Uh, it's old <laughs> movements yeah. that w have precision of today, because uh, yeah. I think nobody would be happy with uh, what we ha were happy 60 years ago. But uh, it has to be very close to the original. Sounds great. Sounds great. So there's a lot of work to come. <laughs> 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 and I'm looking very much forward to see these pieces. Uh, Blanc Bain Batiscaf, um, uh, the, in the your uh, your active uh, engagement in, in in conserving the ocean. Yeah. You're launching a new piece in in Mexico in a couple right. of weeks. Yes. So this will be the next edition of a, of a limited series. Yes. Of the BOC, that's the third uh, Blanc Bain Ocean Commitment Limited Series. Yeah. We profit Mexico because. Um, the World Ocean Summit uh, was just in Mexico where we partner with The Economist and uh, as well where we're going is uh, the newest uh, national park uh, that was protected and announced only a few months back mm -hmm. by the national mm -hmm. by the, um, Mexican, Mexican government and uh, that's still from uh, uh, the initiative that we were part of with pristine seas so that's a direct result and mm -hmm. uh, we want to go there and see how is it yeah, and, and uh, profit to, okay. to launch the piece uh, in this occasion. If you focus more on, eco on, on ecology, you are fading out a little bit the Lamborghini story yeah, at Blanc Bain. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it was fun at the time uh, being, it but now it is. Uh, fun was also um, giving attention to the brand, you know, yeah. giving a dynamic side because Blanc Bain was so much perceived as extremely classic and uh, just Villeray because there was a high concentration for 20 years on, on, on that that uh, needed a bit of a shock therapy uh, <laughs> and uh, loud, say, loud Big. shock Big. but um, now that's that's what we're pulling out of uh, motorsport and okay. uh, focusing more on diving and ecology absolutely and, and I think that's also today you know it's uh, I see myself my son is growing up it's something we have to act uh, yeah. wherever we can and participate in in, in trying to keep the world uh, a livable place uh, also for the future generations. That sounds good. This is also about your battery engagement at the uh, Swatch Group. Belenos, what your grandfather started at the time being. Yes. was ahead of time. Once again. <laughs> 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 yeah, once again, we have to say it, name it. <laughs> Last but not least, there's also Jacques Hedro, uh, yes. a brand that is well known, but not well known enough mm -hmm. due to the fact what the brand is doing. Um, what's new this year at Jacques Hedro? I think this year, for me, it's really a uh, bit of a key year uh, with Jacques Hedro. Um, really interesting, very commercial pieces, I mm -hmm. believe, this year. Uh, not only Jacques Hedro, always had beautiful, high complicated, uh, different, you know, a lot of modest pieces for collector. Very, very niche. That continues going on. But uh, I think we can really take the step, and we see it now in, in, in really the, the figures picking up, uh, that uh, we can get win wrists with something like, like that. That's why I had to hire. That's my piece for Basel. That's a skeletonized, yeah. Yes. yeah. It's, uh, it's just, you know, this Christian, Christian Lattmann mm. showed me already mm. the piece. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's, and it's fun. It's such yeah, a good yeah. team. They are small and, and motivated and, and creative. You know, and I, I think it's, it's a brand that uh, for me has, has a really nice potential. And the signing machine is this year out. What is uh, for years a project that is very uh, dear to me. And um, finally, finally, we have it. Uh, here in Basel, sellable, and uh, it's, it's. Are you uh, selling it? Yeah, it's sellable okay. pieces here. Okay, so but uh, uh, tiny little quantities. Yes, <laughs> each piece is unique. He, he, he comes from production. He's <laughs> 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 he has, yeah. he says, "Who? Thank God, it's not a braggy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, if we do the cases, sir. Uh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, it's family business. Yeah. 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 Uh, when you come, Mr. Esslinger, when you come to Brege, uh I'm curious to know, which is your favorite Breguet watch? My favorite uh, at the moment is uh, f extra flat uh, tourbillon, you know? With the peripheral In the new collection, it's a very, very beautiful piece. So you're more on the classic side? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So man's watches, uh, re reduced man's watches, exactly. understatement. Very simple uh, designs, very pure design, you know? Mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's for me the, the beautiful, the most beautiful watch I have ever seen. But you're not going to launch in the competition to be the thinnest that has now established in between uh, Bulgari and Piaget. They are uh, getting thinner and thinner and thinner. 
We are already, you know. Yeah, you are holding some <laughs> records too, yeah. <laughs> but you're not going to jump into that. No, 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 no. Not, uh, we, not, we, we, not, we don't exaggerate. Uh, these, watches, these watches get thinner and thinner all the time. Yeah. So. Yeah, but, uh, Do you see it as a trend to be so thin? You know, exaggeration is not our business. It's a cool. That's a good statement. <laughs> okay. You you can push the limits, but okay, you have to stay at a certain. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, okay. I think it has to stay a watch that works and you can wear. Yeah. yeah, we will see. Time will tell if those watches work. But it is yeah, fun yeah, yeah. to but see. You know, when you, it's, yes, absolutely. But uh, with a lot of the records that we've seen historically, at the end, mm -hmm. you put it around your wrist and. Uh, you want to wear it? Uh, you have problem because yeah. and this is you know, it was bending. We had some experience in the past um, yeah, I know. with records, and I don't think that's the way to go. Just yeah. to break a record. And if it's if it comes from Swatch Group, it has to be reliable. It has to be reliable. Yeah, this is what your it. grandfather would have ever, ever told everyone. Yes. Don't make any bullshit. Sorry, but make yes. reliable <laughs> watches. Yes. And <laughs> it's mechanic movements. <laughs> There's still some that always can have a problem. So uh, yeah, yeah. even if you make a yeah, that's that's enough already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though it's only one out of thousands, still enough. Good. So we're not going to take risks to make pieces that don't work. Great. Mr. Esslinger, Mr. Hayek, Mark, thank you very much. Thank you, Alexander. Thank you. Have fun with Bruegge. And I'm very much looking forward to those limited series of the Type 2. And I'm a big okay. Type 20 fan. You will see. Yeah? It's you uh, promise? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. Yes, okay, absolutely. and push these vintage pieces. It, it's amazing. Mm. This this story of the Type 20. It's really, it's 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 really thrilling. It's almost less. It's cool. Yeah. To bring these pieces out, and you will have all the all the crowd will cry. Yeah. Internet. At in the moment, I'm still buying. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good, good, good. You you will see staggering pieces. Great. Okay. Yes. Thank you, okay, Mark. I thank promise. you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm looking forward. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alexander. Thank you too. Uh, enjoy yourself. Let's hope that you'll be able to produce everything you we have been talking mm -hmm. about, and let's hope for all of us and for the industry that this uh, uh, it's yeah. gonna stabilize at we let's hope. say at a at a at a good high level. Yeah. No uh, more drops and no more fallbacks. That's that. I think not only for the industry, that the world uh, yeah, stabilizes yeah. in a normal, <laughs> normal situation. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. That was the best word you could have said. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel and, of course, to like our videos.